Hello guys. Class of My Little Pony Equestria Girls and Cars Fan 2021 here. And today, I'm gonna be doing a commentary video on Christmas Yes Sunny Day Nose Rant on Anthony Pozza. Now on this day, this rant is gonna suck in my opinion. Why? Because he gave out invalid reasons to hate Anthony and me in the video. Anyways, let's begin the commentary. Anthony Pozza. No. More like dumbass bitch Pezza. As you can tell, he used the more like phrase, which people don't use now on Beyond Rants. And he said this, Anthony Pozza? No. More like dumb idiot Pozza. According to the Beyond Star Rant community, these phrases get really toxic, because the X more like Y term is considered name calling. On someone or a fictional character they don't like. Just giving more advice to those who were still doing Beyond Star Rants in 2021. And Beyond Star Rants make things worse in the Beyond community. Oh my god. This user sucks. This user likes to make awful videos. Do you see why people hate Beyond Star Rants? Because most of them do this X do you know who likes, why do you know who hates? These phrases like the X screw this person, why screw this too, said, this is way better than the trash. I used to do that in the past, I now know my wrongdoings. And then the oh my god. This X user sucks. This Y user likes to make awful videos. They don't describe them why they hate the person they don't like. They just treat them like they hate him or her back. Does it make sense at all? No. And do the age restriction on videos that are inappropriate make sense? Yes. Because they do that for a reason. They include cussing on the title of the video, being racist, pornography videos, sex, violence, ranting about a person that is Asian American or African American, and Adolf Hitler. I'm still ignoring Hitler and the Nazis. People saying the N-word in the video or title, and etc. And do the age restrictions on videos that are not inappropriate make sense? No. They don't at all. It happened to Ian Ruiz in the past. Asking which Bob the Builder show is better back when Susan Wetchkissy worked as the CEO. She got fired on April Fool's Day. Not a joke. He even made a video about me getting terminated. Because Anthony wanted to make people who hate you give you more criticism than you already have. More dislike ratios. You not handling criticism and stuff. People hate you because you act like a complete infant on the internet. And you've been terminated twice on your second channel, your third channel and that's it. I was trying to give your old channel a copyright strike. I never knew how to give copyright strikes to people. But I do it to defend myself and my friends who are being bullied on the internet or real life. And I don't care about what you say to me and Anthony. We're not scared of you, you stupid idiot. You dumb asshole. Why would you say that to me? And if you like this you are. Michiko, can you ground me and prove that your opinion disrespecting bitch? Now this is starting to be too far in the rant. He bashes opinions to those who like Anthony Pozza. Calling Michael the rapper Effling guy Mikiko. You know he doesn't like being called that. Have you like it if someone called you by the Kepo term? Well that's never gonna happen nowadays. Let me give you viewers some advice about what you shouldn't do or should do in rants. I'm just trying to help you. First, you should not say this, Christmas yes sunny day no, more like sunny day yes Christmas no. Oh my god. This user sucks. You should say this, Christmas yes sunny day no is a user that is pretty rude and mean. Let me explain why I hate him. And give reasons why. Don't give bad reasons. Give out better reasons. Okay. Don't say, me keep on, Chris keep on. And do not do name calling. Not bashing your thoughts or ranting on your parade. And honestly, he made THX videos. They made no sense. Oh, yo. Retard alert. Retard alert. False claim alert. False claim alert. How does making THX videos not make sense? What's wrong with it? I did a THX video when I was about Zed's age, and if the ultimate THX video and link to it is in the description. And the THX logo isn't that bad. It appears in DVDs from the 1980s and 2006. So get it right. And I found out starting in 2005 as first channel was, and we had 400 subscribers. I know that is better than this channel, but we had one problem with that channel. I had a hacker on that channel, but thank God he's gone. He's from Music Normal's state. But I'm not gonna mention it. 
and I had disliked bots on my videos. I don't act the same way like people do. And my haters from my old channel you all shouldn't be hating me for just doing rants. Have you ever heard of the past? I don't act the same anymore. I won't be changing my name on my first channel. Because if I do, I'll get in trouble. And I do want 1k subs on that channel so I can stream and make community tabs and stories. That's gonna make me better. I want you guys to know that. And I was a bully on 2015, but now, I've changed. I'm not gonna quit no matter what happens. When I was 12 years old, I was kind of a jerk, but I'm not a jerk today. I don't want to share more information, because that will expose me. You should go back to zero. Well, that's not very nice. And losing all of your subscribers is very impossible. And besides, I've got more subscribers than you. You can't take my subscribers away from me. And Anthony Poza, if you're watching this, you need to go fuck yourself. Correction, Anthony Poza, if you're watching this, shout out to you. I'm the 8 star demon 2005. How freaking dare you say that? He doesn't hate me. I don't hate him. And you've got to learn that friends don't change that much. Yay. Fighting finally. He can suck my balls and cock. Are you freaking kidding me right now? Are you on drugs or something? You know that is considered homophobia. How disgusting of you. What did you say? Did you say the n-word at Anthony? Wow. How racist of you to say that. You know that saying the n-word is considered racist. I will never say the n-word at all to anyone or myself. I pretend that the n-word doesn't exist. You better not say the n-word at someone ever again. Because you know my favorite character Sunset Shimmer doesn't like saying bad words in her show. Fuck you, you big chass. I hope he gets terminated soon. Oh, do you know who like this user? Starting in 2005. Give his friend well, he needs to hate him. And do you know who hates this user? Me. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. If I see his dog in real life, I would feed her chocolate. If I see his dog in real life, I would feed her chocolate. If I see his dog in real life, I would feed her chocolate. My. Freaking. God. I've said this multiple times to you. Stop. Feeding. Dogs. Chocolate. That is animal abuse. If you ever feed dogs chocolate, you will be sent to jail for that. So fuck you Anthony Pezza, and fuck you Johnny Campbell. And fuck you starting in 2005, I'm way fucking better than you. End of fucking rant. Finally this cringy video rant is over. This is why I hate Christmas Yes Sunny Dano so much. Why? Because he gave out invalid reasons to hate Anthony Pozzo and me. And I even hate when he made a rant on grave encounters, and he even hates street sharks and road rovers. Even though I still hate grave encounters, and I'm still neutral to street sharks and road rovers, except for streaks. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this commentary. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment, like and subscribe for more videos. See you next time.